Welcome to a solo Rust adventure. And today I am playing alone on a 400 player server, just seconds after the island wiped. Meaning every large group and solo alike will be battling it out in a frenzy of chaos for the best loot available. And I don't know about you, but I personally am fed up of getting raided and beat down just because I'm a solo in this game. Which is why today, I'm going to attempt to build a base that can automatically defend itself using the power of electricity. My journey began like many others, as a naked on the beach with nothing but a rock and a torch. Despite being solo, I was feeling confident and prepared to take on some bigger groups. And so after looking at the map, I set my eyes on launch site and began my journey there. Oh my God, there are so many people. What am I doing, man? Give me that food. With so many players running about, I was gonna need a way to defend myself. I quickly farmed some trees and stone and crafted myself some basic weapons. Right, okay, I can grab a little bit more stone and maybe head to Outpost. En route to launch site, I made a quick pit stop at Outpost, able to trade my stone for wood, which would allow me to build my starter base. Look at that, beautiful, all of that wood. Alright, I'm gonna heal up at this campfire, and then I'm gonna have to make my run to launch, but this is gonna be rough. Oh, there's a mining outpost right next to launch as well. It's next to airfields. Oh, this is going to be so chaotic. But I got to try it, man. It's perfect. Now ready to build, I left the safety of outpost and headed on the final stretch, running the gauntlet to put my base down. Oh, and there are four people over there. Arctic suits. That is not good. Don't mind me. Uh-oh. Motherfucker. Oh, this isn't good. Run for your life! Oh! Ah, uh -uh. there are more than I thought. They're coming. They have a revolver already. What the fuck? Did they find that? There's no way, bro. Okay, I think I lost him. I think I lost him. I'm sure there'll be more though. The footprint I designed for this automatic base was a little bit different to a usual starter, and so setting it up was slightly more complicated. Right, I, I honestly don't know if I'm doing this right. I, I came up with this concept like 10 minutes before wipe, so uh, <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Oh, I don't have enough stone. Yeah, door key lock. This is not the most convenient starter to put down, I'll be honest, but you know what? Oh shit, I did mess it up. I guess for now, TC can go there, but TC is not meant to go there, but uh, screw it. It'll do. And after a stressful run across the world, I had successfully put down my starter base, all without dying. However, my true journey now was just beginning. Oh god. Hmm. I kind of want to fight this guy. Ah, oh, there's definitely another one, but screw it. I missed. No! That's one hit. Two hits. What? He's not dead! Okay, there we go. He's dead now. What the hell? I don't know how he survived. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's two more. <laughs> Okay, that was stupid. With lots of players swarming around my new base, I spawned at the bag I'd placed by launch site and went to investigate the mining outpost that I was living near. Okay, get a bag down by there. Now I can just hopefully make consistent runs here, mining outpost, just build up scrap. There we go, 50 scrap. Actually, I've. Mm, no, I'm not recycling those gears. After playing with Stevie, never again, man. Hey, not bad, not bad. Nice little run. Okay, get myself another boat. 
Setting up my base was going to require a few electrical components. But first of all, I was going to need the workbench level 1 to get anything going. And so I headed back to the mining outpost for some more scrap. Any crates? We do have a crate. A ceiling light? No way! Ooh, pipey. That's actually quite nice. Water catcher. Okay, 60 scrap. That'll do. Another crate. Ooh, this guy might have some scrap for me. Naked on the road. You never know. Yeah, honestly worth it. High gate too. I made it. Oh, I can just make that jump. Okay, that's not a bad first run. Got enough for a tier 1 now, too. Despite making a good first run, I wasn't entirely happy with my current base location. It had done its job in providing a respawn location and a safe house, but it was time to move. I quickly farmed some nodes and found a better spot to build my home. Right, I'm not entirely happy with where I am right now. I think I want to be closer. Fuck it, it's night time. I would be very sad if I died right now. I want to try and go as close as I can to mining. You know what? I think this spot here will do. Ah, oh, and I fucked it up exactly like I did last time. <laughs> oh my god. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Ah, uh, wood will have to do. I'm not even going to have enough for a roof, but... Oh well. Ah, well you know what? I don't have an upgraded roof, but at least my TC's secure. Look at that. We done it. Right. I'm just gonna grab everything from here. And move it over. We go! And with that, I had successfully moved my loot into my new home. I was now ready to start with my quest. Oh, yep, I still need to upgrade the roof. That is a good spot. Okay, there we go. That was safe. I mean, I still don't have an airlock, but... See, I hadn't moved far from my original base, but my new location meant that I was close as possible to the mining outpost in the road, meaning I could farm for components and electricals that would help me set up my system even faster. To set up my defense system that I had planned, there were a few important things that I would need to collect. A laptop, a camera, tech trash, and a few miscellaneous electrical components. Oh my god. That's trying to jump scare me. Oh, there we go, that's a headshot. Oh, there we go. Oh, he stood still there. Give me that. Astrid. Oh, this guy's got some comps on him. Yeah. Oh, he's racist. You fucking Holy shit. Okay, he's in crap. I might just get him banned right now, actually. That's just not okay. Jesus. What a freak, man. Russ players uh something else. I'm I'm muting voice now, that's just gross. Bro, he didn't even have that much loot, man. Like why what? what would make anyone that angry? I got anything worth chasing? Oh, there we go. Get him. I'm guessing he's got nothing. Yep. And after some farming of the road in the nearby area, I finally had enough resources to get myself a furnace. And I imagine, much to your relief, it was also time to build an airlock. 
I feel like you guys are screaming at me right now. I should definitely... Okay, how do I want to do this? A raised triangle, and then I think another raised triangle, actually. Yeah, that's beautiful. I, I know exactly what I'm doing. At this base, I promise you guys, it's gonna be sick. I love it. It's so, uh, cozy. But, like, also kind of strong at the same time. But it's gonna look weird for a while. Furnace can go behind here for now, but eventually there will be a uh, medium battery back there, but I need to get the tech trash for that first. Oh, Yogi, no! What the fuck? <laughs> he just chased me from fucking miles away, man. Bro, what the fuck? Okay, this is this is targeted right now, and I don't appreciate it. <laughs> Ooh, actually, that's really nice. I needed that. Ooh, shorty trap. That's cool. Well, at least now I can slightly defend my base with that shotgun trap. <laughs> that, that shotgun trap is the automated defense system. You guys are welcome. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm joking. I'm joking. Obviously, the trap is not the automated defense system. Although, that being said, I don't know how much better the actual system is going to turn out to be, but we'll see. Okay, it's going to be... Oh. Okay. I... I guess my bag's gone. I, <laughs> what the fuck was that? It just didn't want to hang around anymore. Do you guys want to see a magic trick? I could make my bags disappear. There we go. Oh, we have some storage. Alright, it is finally time for a workbench. I do not have enough wood. It is not time for a workbench. And after farming some wood, it was now time for a workbench level 1. There we go. Been procrastinating that long enough. Second furnace for some sulfur. Ooh, I have a couple pipes. Oh, what do we have here? Oh my gosh, this guy's... So <laughs> it's the racist guy from earlier. No way. <laughs> oh, that is brilliant. Oh, I love that. Justice has been delivered. He is gone. Hello, Yogi. Well, that's impeccable timing. To live up to my full potential as a devious solo grub, I thought it was time to craft myself a double barrel shotgun. Oh yeah, I'm ready now. Oh, I reckon this guy might have some scrap for me. Oh, I'm missing. I think I'm just gonna use my shotgun. Enough playing around with that guy. I'm sorry. I was missing too bad. Same guy from earlier. Ooh, I actually needed that E-branch. Small battery. Not sure if I need that, but the E-branch is good. Currently, my main focus was to save up the scrap for a tier 2, which would enable me to craft the components I need for the electrical circuit. I hadn't yet been to launch site, and so I thought I'd give it a go. I have a feeling I'm gonna die. Oh, right. Yeah, that's fun. I mean, okay, there's two of them. What the fuck? I didn't mean right then. I suppose we're not gonna do launch site just yet with the rats camping it. Well, there goes my double barrel. I need some more pipes now. Yeah, I have quite a lot of frags, so if I can just get some more pipes, I can just craft so many DBs. Oh well, we got the bear rug down. Life is good. Oh, get me out! I'm stuck! Just 50 scrap away from crafting the tier 2, I made one last run to the mining outpost for the final stretch. Actually needed that solar panel. And exactly one and a half hours into wipe, and I was crafting the workbench level 2. A nice, efficient start for this solo adventure. Boom! Look at that. What a good start, I say. 
Okay, you know what? First up, I'm just gonna make a garage door. Just to make sure this base is strong enough to survive. I think it should be fine, though. Oh, such a... And there goes my bag again. I'm such a fucking idiot, man. Why does that keep happening? Oh, well. Goodbye, 30 cloth. Hey, look at that. Getting garage doors down is one of the best feelings. Why is this not placing? Huh. I don't know. Wait, maybe it needs the double door. Oh, it needs that ledge. So how can I do this with a garage door? Yeah. Wait, I have an idea. If this works, I'm too smart. Triangle frame. Let's upgrade that to wood. And then that should now be able to place the garage door and still place the bag. Let's see. Come on, come on. Oh, I'm too good. Too good. Let's go. It'll do. And so, with the tier 2 workbench checked off my list of things to do, my next aim was to grab some tech trash. I would need this to craft the medium batteries along with the solar panels to power my circuit. Uh oh. That guy's a Revy or something, I think. I reckon I can kill him. Spawn here. He's on the run. Oh, I missed. Oh, I should have hit that. Oh, no, he's got a teammate. Come on, man, I killed him. I figured my best chance of getting tech trash would be by looting military crates, which are commonly found across launch site. They added a noise to that. That lift never made a sound before, I swear. Now I wasn't having much luck finding tech trash, but I wanted to take advantage of the fact that I had a workbench level 2 so early on into wipe. I had the Molotov blueprint and my plan was to go around my area and see if there were any bases I could raid quickly and potentially find some tech trash. Ah, they have a metal triangle. Fuck you, fuck yeah, I think this is the guy that lives here. I want to figure out if I could raid it with mollies. Bro, how is this guy alive? There we go. Ooh, that shit has some scrap for me. Right, the ceiling above the metal door was wood. Alright, I'm just gonna take five mollies and I'm gonna go back and see. Fuck it. We go. That looks like quite a big group, so I want to get them out early. Yeah, so... There's wood there. But is there a door? Oh, I see the metal door. Okay, so I wouldn't be able to raid this with mollies. That is a shame. Yeah, there's nothing there. What are these guys? Fuck it. I'm gonna hit that. I don't know how many are in here, but... <laughs> Send... Metal door to oh oh these guys logged out <laughs> these guys had a rough start to wipe <laughs> damn man some people just aren't cut out for fresh so none of my nearby neighbors were Molotov raidable just yet but maybe some more would pop up here and there Ooh, silencer and I got pipes I needed that another four pipes I could make four double barrels let's go finally holy shit. After not finding any pi- Oh, never mind. I think I'm about to die. Oh, leave me alone! I just want these pipes! <laughs> Get one B2? Oh, I'm dead. Fuck, <laughs> man. I just needed the pipes back in base. Astrid again. Ah, oh, this is so annoying. Wait. Wait. B2? No, there's no ammo! No, <laughs> dude. Oh, yeah, motherfucker. Oh my god, the 
same guys? Just let me fall! Oh my gosh, okay. Teammate? Oh, wait, he has four mollies on him. Where was he going? Holy shit. Okay, well, I didn't die, which is something, but, uh, God, that was stressful. Oh my god, I literally cannot farm today. I'm just getting rushed by groups. I think they have revies. No, maybe they don't actually. Oh, I'm whiffing. Okay, well, that's one dead. Wait, he's not dead? Now he is. Oh, this guy is so low. Please miss this next arrow. Please. Oh, he's running. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I'm just gonna dip. That's really bad. At least I'm fine. No! Okay, he hits the best crossbow shot of his life. I highly doubt he'd be able to loot me fully. Yeah, yeah, he actually left quite a bit. They must have been loaded. That's so sad. Let's see what his teammate has. He might have some stuff too. Oh, oh my gosh. Wait, wait. Did I just profit of dying? What the fuck, man? Ah, oh, I wish I'd held based on how much loot they had, though. That's so sad. While running home with the leftover loot from the clearly loaded duo, I spotted a new base that had just popped up. I knew that it had to be them and that there was a good chance they were loaded. Wait, one single door? I need to raid that right now. Molotovs. I go. Quick, quick, quick. I need to be so fast here before they get anything. I guarantee they have so much loot in there. Like the fact that there was that much loot left on that one guy. Fucking send. Okay, door key lock, the base is mine. Oh, there's my Revy. I'll take that. I don't really know what happened to the guy or the loot. Maybe they he moved? You know I was coming? That's... I don't know what that was, man. But, you know what? No tier 2 for them. I'll take that. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think maybe they, he knew I was going to come, or... But there definitely seems like there's missing loot. While the raid hadn't been as profitable as I had liked, I did get myself an extra workbench level 2, and a potential duo out of the area. Ooh, there's some recycling in here. Oh. P2. Oh, come on, die! Hey, there we go. Ooh, give me that. Huge! I'm out of here. Go, go, go! Oh my god. Of course, there's a bow guy. Okay, he just doesn't miss. This guy's crazy! Go away! Oh, there we go. Well, we take that win. We take that win. They, they know I live here, but we'll take it, man. Oh, they definitely know. He's, <laughs> he's running around outside now. After making it back to base with the stolen P2 and scrap, I had clearly drawn the angry neighbors straight to where I lived. I thought I would upgrade the base a little. I think uh, now calls for uh, adding a slight extra airlock. Two doors might not be enough right now. And then this will be a garage door here. I'm just gonna put that one there for now. 
And while it was night time, I went on a quick run to launch site for the hope of finding some tech trash once again. I've had such bad RNG today, so annoying. At this point, I had been neglecting farming for a little while. I took the horse that I'd found at launch site and went on a quick node farming run. Hello, outpost. Okay, well, there's the wood spewing out window bars right now. Ah, uh, well, you know what? That's a good run. I needed that, and if I had died, I would have been very sad. I don't know where my horse went. I heard it just fucking sprint off, though. Ah, oh, feels good. After making the farming run home, I learned the P250 and crafted myself a new one. I crafted up some more Molotovs and headed back out to go on the hunt for some raids. Right, this one, door, key lock, uh, code lock is always what you want to see. Um, it. Oh, metal door, that's a shame. Maybe. Nah, I guess he knows. He's not going to open that door. That's a shame. There are at least two guys in this space. They're upgrading as well. Only bows. You know what? These guys might not have a metal door. Low grade on him. What do we have? What do we have? Come on. What door? Let's go. Online. Wait. No, there's no. Way, what a rap, man. I should've just gone in. I thought he'd hold it. Later, later. Nah, that is such a bitch play, man. The timing as well. I mean, I swear I shot that twig. So the rats had sealed themselves into their own base, a mechanic which, quite honestly, I think should be removed from this game. But I didn't want them getting off the hook, so I camped their base to make sure they wouldn't be able to remove their wall forcing them to soft-side it if they wanted their base back. And once the 10 minute timer was up, they were fully griefed and wouldn't be able to get their base back unless they soft-sided. Happy with the outcome, I went on my way. Players like that are so sad, man. Oh, that feels good, getting a third large box down. I was very much running out of room. <laughs> I needed this very badly. After a short break for some coffee, I returned to find that some new neighbors had moved in. Ah, uh, this is bad. It's at least two guys. Maybe I can go deep. I have metal door already. It's a shame. Oh, furnaces. Oh, there's no way. That was so close. So close, man. Fuck. Right, you know what? I've got the strat here. I reckon I can get my shit out of here. Right, come on, come on, come on. I need to be quick. Come on! Yes. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, boy's too clean with it. He's gonna be so confused when he opens his door and I'm just gone. Hello. Oh my god. Wolves? I swear I saw like five sleeping bags and six furnaces inside that base. This is scary, man. I don't know how many people live in there, but it's got me a bit worried. Bro, this silence P2 does no damage, but I kind of like it. It's so clean. 
feel like James Bond. Oh, shit. I'll take a Jackie. After being blessed by the rust gods and finding a jackhammer, I thought I'd put it to good use. I'll take that. Good run. We got some farm. Oh my. Holy shit! <sighs> yeah, those are definitely my neighbors. Wait. These guys are coming. No! <laughs> Every time I kill one. Oh. DB slugs, probably my neighbors again. Do I get the hammer play here? Oh, we headshot that? <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> hammer play for the win. Wait, and we got a laptop. That's insane. I just gotta find a camera and tech trash. What's this guy doing? TP slugs. Oh, this guy had uh, four gears. These guys must have been actually pretty stacked if they couldn't loot that. Wait, another two gears. That was my body. I should go home with that. I actually need those quite badly. With more gear than I had earlier, I felt that I could now contest launch site, which would be my best chance of finding the tech trash and camera that I needed. Wait, what? <laughs> Bro, that was like deja vu. Is that the same guy as well? It is in the exact same position. Ooh. Oh, I can kill this guy for sure. Ow, fuck. No, dude. I fumbled. Wait, Medri. No, dude. Come back. Oh, I got him. There's no way he gets away. Hey, there we go. Give me that saw. It's the same guy. Bro, I've been bullying this dude. Oh, it's a wolf. Wait, are those my neighbors? Oh, God. I see like four of them now. Arctics. <sighs> that is bad. That is really bad. Come on, give me something I need. SMG, buddy. Oh, tech trash, let's go, finally. Oh, come on, please let me get home. Sit down. Give me that. Oh, okay, of course, there's a saw guy right here. Brilliant. I think I'm dead here. Maybe I get away? I think I'm okay. I don't know how I survived that, but I need to go back to the tech trash now. Okay, I made it. That's fine. That's all that matters. Hopefully the tech trash is still there. I feel like it should be. There's no way anyone finds that, right? What the hell? I can't see anything. Oh, I missed. I can't see him. There we go. Should be dead. Ah, he had a saw. What the hell? I was not expecting that. Where is it? Give me that. There's so many people, leave me alone. I just need the tech trash. <gasps> yes, okay. So after three hours of gameplay, I had finally found the tech trash I needed to set up the electricity. And with the laptop I found earlier, the only thing left I needed was a camera. But that was a problem for later me, because now I was too excited to set up this circuit. 
Okay, well, you know what? Even though I don't have the camera yet, I can at least do the rest of the system, which is good. And I can finally get electricity. So, we want to put lens on there so I can actually see. Come on, yes, let's go. Oh, that feels good to get that up to metal. Let's go one power off of that. Hey, we got some light. Don't mind me. <laughs> I love it. Let's go. Beautiful stuff. Bro, we're chilling now. We're gaming. Get this solar panel hooked up. I can get myself on the roof. And this will be honeycomb so that my roof is a bit stronger. Get a couple combiners. Send that into the battery. Oh, I don't think I can place that because the wood frame. That is really irritating. Damn. Yeah, the frame has quite a large hitbox. Okay, so get that upgraded, that upgrade, because this will be one of my defense pods. These will be garage doors. This is gonna be so sick, I love it. And same on the other side. Might actually have enough stone on me. Makes a change, never bring enough normally. Yeah, there we go. Oh, okay. Can you not be rude? Bruh. This guy's problem. Yeah, we'll go with that skin. This also acts as honeycomb as well, which is good. With everything now set up and ready, all I needed was a camera to craft the auto turret. Ooh, laptop. Not bad. Come on, dude. I'm getting so much loot, but just not the thing that I need. This is so painful, man. Laser detector, that's cool. AK's a refinery. Oh. Okay, well, that was a good run. I didn't get the camera that I needed, but I actually got a hell of a lot of scrap and comps. Oh, that furnace sucks. I need to do something about that triangle frame. Right, I'm gonna need the HBHF sensor though. Is there anything else I need? I don't know. Right, let's get the HBHF sensor because I definitely need that. Ooh, ladder hatch, that's cool. What is going on here? <laughs> or that guy just dropped. Uh, there's quite a few of them. <laughs> well, that's one saw dead. Just dropped. I love this gun. That's another saw dead? Bro, what is going on right now? This is so funny though, I love it. Oh, there's 
so many more. What the fuck? I think I just downed that guy. I have one slug left. Oh, there are so many people left. What the fuck? Okay, maybe I can kill this guy. Okay, I'm coming up behind him. One slug in a dream. <laughs> no! No, let me get it, please! Come on, man. I want it. I want it. <laughs> oh, his body fell off. I can't get the saw. No! I'm gonna die. Oh, that's so sad. After such a good shot, I killed so many people, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Despite dying, I thought I'd head back to launch site to challenge the AK. I figured I might have a chance of clearing up the fight. Oh, that is, uh, four, five. Yeah, okay. I, I don't think I can take on five, guys. That's a bit too much. Another laptop, man. Come on. Oh, I actually got some stuff left over. Not bad. Take an ice pick. Anything else? Eats you over there. Oh. We got a saw. I'll take that. I'm whiffing a little bit. Oh, what the hell? Someone farming. Oh, and there's another crossy behind me. Bro, they see me? What? Bro, how are they landing all of these arrows, man? What? No way do I die to just like the most insane bow players. Oh, there's still two more. Yeah, that's two dead. That guy's running. You know what, I'll take that. That's some good comps on. Let's get out of here. Right, yeah, I think that will need to become storage because I'm very much running out of space in this base. Oops, get rid of that. Don't want to lose it. Hey, there we go. We got a little bit more space in here. I can get an extra two large boxes there, and that would be perfect. At this point, I stopped recording to check my file storage, and accidentally forgot to click record again when I was done. Missing about five minutes of gameplay, in which time, a group of three had started building in my area, whom I had killed, and also found a CCTV camera, of course. And I know, I'm sorry, I, I always do this, and I end up fucking up the recording somehow. But anyway, back to the video, where I'm crafting molotovs to attempt to raid the group before they get a footing. Gotta get these guys out of here. Right? On double door, fuck it. I think they're probably inside. You're telling me a water pipe does 60 damage to me from there? What in the world? Right, uh, double door key lock. There we go. We take that win, we take that. Easy dub. While the loot itself wasn't amazing, the most important part was that I had evicted a three-man group living right next to my base. 
something that could have caused me trouble later down the line. And I got a camera from them too, which is pretty good. The new neighbors out of here. Oh, look, I just lagged. Oh, good night. Holy shit. There's one more over that way that I need to be careful of. Because I'm very much in the open now. Five tanks. Honestly, not bad. Good comps. This guy should just be beelining me right now. Never mind. He knew I was waiting for him. Weird. Sherilyn. I've run into that guy before. He had guns earlier. Oh my god, those AKs are coming after me. Wait. Oh my god, the AK guys are right there. Oh, get me in. Get me in the base. Ah, oh, well that's a relief. At least I made that back. That was a little bit sketchy, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I forgot I left that stuff there. I am completely out of storage. <laughs> what the fuck? I have too much loot, man. This has been a hell of a wipe day, honestly. Um. Okay, I need to craft those large boxes and place them down, because this is not going to cut it. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. It was about time I cleared more space in my base for storage and furnaces. I used molotovs to remove the wooden triangle that I'd placed earlier. Yay! Right, now I can place my furnaces. Beautiful. That feels good to actually have them down. And then I can get a couple boxes here. Nice. I finally have storage. Let's go. With finally some storage in the base, I went to grab the resources from the base I'd raided earlier. I shared quite a lot for one Molotov. Not too shabby. Ah. <sighs> Well, that feels good. <laughs> Starts getting raided. <laughs> Imagine, oh my god. And after a long time with majorly disorganized boxes, it was time to get some organization done. Oh, look at those comps. I'm actually kind of loaded on them, to be honest. Let's get some rugs down around the base. I think we need that. This base is going to be ultimate coziness. Read to that. There we go. Heater now works. This is such a nice base to live in, man. It's so tiny, but it's also got so much in it. Like, you could not get more compact. And with the base looking as cozy as ever, and the camera finally acquired, it was time to set up the automated defense system that you guys have been waiting for. Okay, here's the plan, right? Here is the goal. What I want is an HBHF sensor on the outside. Someone walks past the sensor, garage doors open, turret turns on. I want the turret to turn on because I don't want to be using energy when the doors aren't open. But I also want to be able to have a button that I can immediately just press that will open the doors and turn on the turret and leave them on if I'm getting raided. So door controller I'm going to need. That costs 75 scrap. What is this scam, man? Okay, put that on there. I've actually never done this before, so uh, <laughs> I don't really know what I'm doing. But I'm going to figure it out. Uh, I think these things got locked, don't they? 
Why is that not pairing? Ah, they need to be shut. There we go, paired. Yep, that's paired. And then... Oh. Okay, with those paired. Oh! What the fuck? My neighbor's camping me. Alright, so first up we got branch into there. Is there a type of switch that will turn on fully if there's like a second power coming into it? Because that's what I need right now, I think. I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, man. Okay, right, God. And switch, I think that's what I need. I probably spent like 2,000 scrap learning everything I need for this. Honestly, this game is so weird, man. Right, so what would make sense would be if I sent the branch to the sensor, and then the sensor back to the AND switch. Right, power out into here. Down to the... Okay, so that's in the sensor, then sensor back. Right, so now that's empty. Once power goes through, the power should come out the top, and then I can send that to power the doors and the turret. I think this makes sense in my head. I don't see why this wouldn't work. Now, I, I, there's probably a much more efficient way of doing this. I probably could just looked it up online, but I wanted to figure it out myself. And we'll see. I, I don't know. I think this might actually work. So, include authorized. Let's go! Okay, so that powers the doors. I'm insane. <laughs> I love it. And now, with the doors automatically working, it was time to place the auto turret. It's beautiful, man. Alright, let's get these turrets down. Alright, don't think I'm getting camped. Getting quite spooked, though, man. Alright, we got the turret. I can't die now. Wait, why did the... Why did they just... Why are the doors opening? Wait! <gasps> ah! I don't like it, man. Of course this little rat is camping me the one time I'm taking the turret out. Oh my god. At least we know the system works, man. Holy shit. I genuinely just had a heart attack. Right, so now this turret should lead up to the branch, the main branch output which should be enough power to turn the turret on when the doors get opened. Okay, here we go. This is where we see if I got it right. Three, two, one. <laughs> I love it. God, I'm good. It works. It does work. Although, there is a delay. There is a slight delay with the turret turning on, and I'm not sure... If I can get rid of that. Hmm. While my makeshift wiring was working, there were a few changes I wanted to make to optimize the system. Okay, my main problem right now, actually, apart from the, there's the delay, is that it closes, like, almost straight away. So maybe if I have a timer... Yeah. I, I want a timer so that once it gets detected by motion, it stays open for, like... 20 to 30 seconds. So if I put the timer, the output of that straight into here, and just ignore the AND switch. I don't think I need that. I think I can just do it all on the timer. Yes, there's a toggle on. Okay, that's perfect. So if I send the toggle on from the sensor. Yeah, okay, so I just need to send the toggle on uh, to the sensor, and then I think that is good. Yep. There we go. Now I just need to set the timer to last, I don't know, like 30 seconds or something. And that way, if it, when anyone walks past, the turret doors will open and stay on for 30 seconds, which is perfect. So now if I walk away, even though I've backed off, it's still open. Legend. Oh man, I'm so happy with this. This is insane. That went so smooth. Look at this guy. He can't camp me anymore. He's sad, man. <laughs> Fuck you. Little rat. Can't camp my base now with my new defense system. 
Oh dear. I see the second turret on the other side now. I realize now there was still a way I could make my turret system stronger, and that was, if the turret ran out of ammo, or low on ammo, the doors would automatically shut and not reopen, meaning people wouldn't be able to drain the turret and then break it. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I've never used blockers before, but I think I understand how they would work. So if I've done that right, wait, let me just double check. So this object prevents pass through while power is received through a second input. Yeah, so if I send power back from the auto turret when the turret is no ammo, and I send that to the block pass through, no power will then go to the door controller and the doors won't open. So hopefully this makes sense, but I'm not entirely certain. Okay, doors aren't opening, that's good. Double. Oh god, yep, so there's definitely... Okay, so I think that works. And now the doors are opening, now that there's ammo in the turrets. There we go, we got it, that's so sick. And into the switch, and then from the switch, we'll just turn that straight into the bottom of the timer. So now that when I turn that switch off, the system won't work at all, and it can just build up power, which is good. Alright, you know what? I think I've managed to do pretty well with this system, despite never trying it before. There we go, turns on, and turret turns on. Let's go. Ah, it's so clean, I love it. Oh, this feels good, man. Those guys have actually expanded quite a bit and stopped door camping me with the ochres, Jesus. Ow. Guy's insane. <laughs> he wasn't expecting me to have a saw though. Thank you very much. Whoa. This is such a cool uh, cliff. That never gets old. Good night. Oh, I checked quite a lot for me. Another laptop. Bro, all I need is another camera. Honestly, man, this is so annoying. Another Jackie? What the fuck? What is that? I realize now that with an auto turret covering my surrounding land, I could farm wood in the forest in safety. Never have I felt safer farming wood than right now. This is crazy. No one can even touch me because of this system, man. It's sick. Well, that is a box of wood. <laughs> oh, I could probably build a compound with that too. Maybe I should. That would be quite fun. The compound on this little base. More stuff. No camera though. Let's get another couple solar panels. I think with two more solar panels should be enough to power another turret. Beautiful. This base is so funny, man. This is like the most complicated circuit. Oh. I mean, I'll take that. This guy had quite a lot of comps. Oof, that guy just had a jump scare of his life. Didn't really have much, though. More tech trash, man! Let's give me a camera. Satchel. Bro, I've managed to farm so much today. 50 HQM, noise. 
With so much loot stacking up in my base, I had no choice but to make some expansions. Alright, I think that'll do fine for like a front entrance. So this base will be like 12 rockets through doors, which is honestly fine. <laughs> I love it. And with the mountain of wood that I'd farmed with the chainsaw, I thought I'd make myself a compound. This is actually gonna be like the most cozy compound ever. I think I only need like eight high walls because I'm gonna connect it like back to the base and then just use metal barricades. Okay, well I'll see. Oh my god, that is beautiful. <laughs> it's everything fits so well. Yeah, okay, it's gonna be the same on the other side. Part of me doesn't want to, because I like the fact this turret is on like the outside. But I don't know. I think it'll be it'll be good to compound it all in. Yeah. This <laughs> is the most perfect thing. Just compounded my entire base with eight eye walls. I love it. Let's see. Can I fit two? might work. Wait. No way. Look at that. No one is getting into this compound. <laughs> Window on there. Right, I should use some of my frags and just upgrade all of my core. I reckon it'll be important. Can I fit barricades here? Oh, with an extra big triangle arrow. Yes! I don't even have to move the solar panel. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is such a sick base. I love it. It's so like, uh, it's, I don't know, it's unique. But it, it works. It just works. What a jump. probably upgrade this back wall because I feel like if I was raiding I'd be like hmm yes that's where I'm gonna raid but actually that would be like 12 rockets anyway so that's good yeah all of this to sheet Gotta get the bear rug back on and with my base finally looking magnificent I went on a final roam of white death. Ooh, there's some gamers in gas station right now. That wasn't even me. What the hell? Oh my god, those guys' reactions were so fast. What the fuck? Look at that full road sign. Oh. No way, he came back AK? He wanted that socket, man, what the fuck? And with that final death, I was pretty much ready to call it for the night. It had been a long, eventful, but also very successful wipe day on the server. With under 7 hours total played, I was so happy with what I'd achieved in that time, and I love the base that I'd create. If you did enjoy, make sure to subscribe because it really helps me out, and I will see you in the next one. If I get up off my bed just for once, will it rain down on me? If I get up off my bed just
just once, but it rained on a 